My name's Ollie. I'm on the Economic Crime Apprenticeship at Santander and I joined on the 10th of October 2022. And working for a large organisation like Santander has actually been a goal for me since I left school. I did a one week work experience placement here in Bradford um, and I really enjoyed it. But the main thing that stood out to me personally was just the environment that, that everyone was working towards and, and everyone had sort of the same goal. During the time when I left school it was the coronavirus pandemic so I had to sort of take a, a bit of a gap. I'd just recently left college. College wasn't really for me if I'm honest. So initially luckily enough my, my nan actually worked in a, a local warehouse. They needed a production operative there so I sort of rung the guy, lovely guy called James up and he basically said, you know, you're free tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go for it. Oliver used to work for us probably nearly nearly two years ago now. When we put the advert out for the uh, job, Ina came to me saying that she had a grandson that was uh, interested in some part-time work. He did a, did a great job. When he came to us, obviously, he is an ambitious kind of guy. We would like to have kept him, but sadly, he, uh, he had bigger and better ideas. Growing up for me, uh, my most inspirational role model was Lionel Messi. More so, he was sort of the underdog growing up. You know, he was just a little kid from Argentina, wasn't sort of expected to make it. There's always sort of that mind piece of, you know, never sort of give up. You know, there is always an end goal. And personally for me, I always think, start with the end in mind. I applied for the role in my, in my previous role. To be honest, not expecting that I'd get it, you know, as it's been so long and I've done a different field of work. Did the whole interview process, which was actually really fun and enjoyable. I was actually on holiday when I found out that I got the job, so I was, I was over the moon. My first day was actually down in Milton Keynes. We had a fest called Santander Fest, which is where all the apprentices and graduates sort of come together and have a bit of a bit of a meet and greet, basically. We had some speakers um, across the business, you know, some board members. We had Jessica Rennes, come in so it was fantastic to, to meet her as well. From that point onwards met the people in my new team and went from there really. To be honest quite nervous coming back to the business but coming back it's been it's been so nice. People are always there really supportive you know sometimes we have some hard days but your colleagues are always there to sort of pick you back up. From coming back as well a thing that I've, I really enjoyed was sort of the hybrid working model as well. It gives me huge flexibility but on the other hand I really sort of enjoy coming in at least twice a week as well you know just to see my colleagues go out for dinner and just, just spend some time obviously with the people that I work with on a daily basis. My family are actually really proud that, that I work for Santander. To be honest, not too surprised because I've always gone on about it over the, you know, ever since I left school. It's like I wanted to do this, I wanted to do this, and I'm so thankful to have those sort of people, people around me. When we found out that Oliver had been given, a, you know, given a place for his apprenticeship, we were absolutely over the moon. He loves it. He, he, you can see he's passionate about it. Um, and it's something he's interested in, so he, he, he's just a completely different person. Where he was before, it was a lot of pressure, and as a mum, you, you realise that, you know, it is a bit too much. So I think now he's, he's, he's progressing and he's doing really well. People think, you know, working in a bank, you have to have, you know, unbelievable degrees and things like that. You know, Santander here have apprenticeships, uh, both foundation and degree, so there's always a placement for someone. The most important thing to do really is just, just apply. No matter, you know, what department you're in or what role, there's always roles available and the bank are really supportive of that as well.